Hey, what's up everybody? It's RedArmo25 from the Achievement Hunter community bringing you a video guide on how to 100% sleeping dogs, meaning how to get those last few achievements you're going to have left after finishing the main story. Most specifically, the pure gold achievement, which requires you to get gold for all 30 stat awards. I'll be showing you the best places and methods you can use to achieve the more difficult ones. In the description of this video, I'll be posting the timestamps for the relevant stat awards so you can skip ahead for the ones you need. The ones I'll be covering are Gambler, which is to gain $1 million from gambling through either cockfights or the Mahjong Poker. I'll be doing Safe Driver and Reckless Driver. Ninja, which is to stealth kill 10 enemies from behind. Deadeye, which is to kill 10 enemies with thrown melee weapons. Rogue Cop, which is to kill 50 police officers. Fluid Striker and Disarm, which is to vault over cover into an armed foe disarming them. And finally Wrecker, which is to destroy 50 vehicles. So first off, you can view your progress with the stat awards from the in-game pause menu and going to the social hub. This will give you access to a log of your progress, stat awards, stat mini games that you play against your friends comparing scores, and mission replays and race replays. We're going to start off with Gambler, which is to win $1 million, and to do that we're going to use the cockfight in Kennedy Town that has the highest stakes. The Mahjong is pretty useless for this since you can only bet a maximum of 5,000. Ideally you'll be doing this after you've progressed in the game and you have your apartment in Kennedy Town. This makes the driving trip to the fight much shorter. And what you want to do is bet the maximum, save after every time you win a fight, and if you lose a fight, load the previous checkpoint. This will guarantee your winnings and get the gold stat soon enough. So, just going to drive to our destination. I showed briefly on the map where it is. Uh, you'll have to excuse me, I'm not the best driver in these games. Oops, sorry about that. And that was probably the worst turn in history of driving. And that wasn't much better either. So when we get to this fight, just uh, bet on the cock with the most wins. Whoa, that was the most unintentional stunt ever. Uh, and uh, it's a decent enough tactic that should help you win the majority of the time. So it's the white bird on this one. God, I can't stand these two guys. Okay, and we have a lot of fast cut, and hooray, we win. So that's a uh, hundred thousand. So we save and uh, continue if we need to progress. And if we lose, then load the most recent checkpoint and start back in Kennedy Town and make your way back there. Simple as that. Okay, so next is Safe Driver, and uh, that location that I briefly showed on the map, which is the top right hand corner between North Point and Central is a good place to start to do Safe Driver and Reckless Driver. So Ray from Achievement Hunter recently posted a video uh, showing a much better location to do Safe Driver which is available on YouTube and AchievementHunter.com where you loop around a roundabout to the north. This path I'm showing however is still the best path to complete Reckless Driver which requires you to drive at a max speed for a combined total of 30 minutes, so you need a fast car for that. Here I'm just showing my run of safe driver on this route in a van which is just as simple. And this limo screws me over and cuts me short. I'm sorry officer. This next one I'm showing is Ninja which is to stealth kill 10 enemies and the best place I've found to do this is on the mission The Election, the penultimate mission. And you've got these two people standing in front of the TV. This is exactly what I'm showing you not to do, which is to sprint at the opponent and press tackle. What you need to do is you need to tackle them from a standing start and press B twice, and that will insta-kill them. So here I try again. And that's much more successful. So you can just restart from checkpoint and do this ten times and you'll get it very quickly. This next one I'm going to show you is Deadeye, which is to kill 10 enemies with thrown melee weapons. Right now I'm showing you the Disarm Tackle Triad Upgrade, which will be very helpful in taking the melee weapon off armed enemies. So what you want to do is come to the uh, 
combat training where you go and return your jade statues. Here you can practice brawling with uh, the four different classes of enemies. So you want to pick the armed thug. And so the controls for this is when you're picking up a melee weapon, you use left trigger to aim and then right trigger to throw it. So here I tackle one guy, take his knife, run a safe distance and lock on and throw and kill. Pick up his knife and repeat the process and it's as simple as that. Just gotta do that 10 times and you can trend with these guys. Ow! Okay, he's not letting me kill him. No, take this instead. Right, so you can do that. That's three and you need to get 10 so you can just do it four times and that will get you your gold. Right, next I'm gonna show you Rogue Cop which requires you to kill 50 police officers and one of the best places to do this is the police station the location I just showed you which is in central um, while I'm doing this I just so happen to have brought a gun typically you won't have a gun when you're roaming free roam so uh, just for argument's sake I'm just gonna kill this guy without uh, actually using my gun and take his instead uh, I'm randomly kicking in the air because I'm trying to stomp him on the ground, but it's not being very successful. So, get rid of the gun, try and tackle him, but he just throws me off, so I'm just going to kick him in the face. Okay. There we go. Thanks for the weapon. The officers respawn pretty quickly, and your uh, police rating, called heat in this game, will go up quite fast as well. And you can just continue this until you're done. Right, next I'm going to show you the best mission to get Vault Attacks and Disarms. So this is the Meet the New Boss mission, which can be accessed from the replay. So right here I disarm these two guys and kill them. You can't really Vault Attack those guys because there isn't any cover. But here is why we choose this mission, is because of this bar area which provides plenty of cover for the enemies which you can jump back and forth over repeatedly so here I'm just gonna clear a few of the enemies out so that I don't get completely wasted when I jump out there so I found this is the best place to farm them because it has the best cover to vault over you can also use missions like uh, intensive care and the election as well so I just divert fire and then vault over these barrels Got him. There's another guy over there. Oh, that was clumsy. Okay, and that's another one. The other stat award I also found that I was kind of lacking after finishing the campaign was blind fire, because I never blind fire when I play uh, cover shooters, typically because I like to conserve ammo. So you can get a bit of that here as well. Okay, and after this last enemy, it'll tell you to go outside, but you don't have to. You can restart checkpoint, and you'll start back in the beginning room, and you can repeat that as many times to uh, farm all the kills you need. Um, but later on in this mission, there is also a good spot to get the uh, Wrecker stat award, which involves destroying 50 cars. What I believe you have to do is you have to get the finishing shot for the... Uh, car to explode you can't just uh, shoot out a tire and leave it be so here I'm uh, destroying the cars I'll get a couple here I'm not guaranteed to get every single car I destroy counting towards the wrecker stat award but uh, it will get you good enough um, if you got the uh, pre-order bonus from the game I believe that gives you a uh, event called high speed which involves you in the side seat of a cop car and that's another great place to uh, destroy a whole bunch of cars I believe when you're in the passenger seat you actually have infinite ammo with whatever weapon you're carrying which is quite handy these cars are also great for the uh, sniper stat award which is to fire 50 bullets without missing since the uh, cars have a large area and you can keep whirling into them without missing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Um, a few extra tips, which is uh, if you missed any uh, mission specific achievements like the uh, fish slap achievement, you can just access the mission replay from the social hub in the start menu and uh, replay the mission Club Bam Bam, I believe is the re relevant one. Um, the other achievement you might not have by the end of this game will be to complete all the events. Um, you just have to know where they are and uh, there are maps available on AchievementHunter.com under the uh, Sleeping Dogs Xbox 360 forum. Another quick tip I can think of is uh, if you're having trouble uh, with the uh, latter karaoke songs, trying to get 90% and all of those, um, one thing I've discovered much easier is uh, rather than pushing the thumbstick halfway for those uh, in-between notes you have to uh, hit, you can push the thumbstick diagonally instead of halfway, which I found much easier to control. That should help you if you're having any difficulty. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions or you need any more help trying to get 100% of the achievements in this game, just uh, contact me via YouTube or give me a comment on my roosterteeth.com page, both of which the names are redarmor25 or lowercase. But yeah, for more tips and tricks, please visit achievementhunter.com. Thanks for watching.